Geeky Classic Rock. So everyone, welcome to Classic Rock Raw on this Monday, November 15th of 2021. I had a look at the date because I can't believe it's the middle of November. It's kind of crazy. So Dean Castronovo, mm-hmm. I love saying his name, Dean Castro Novo. He just excitingly announced a few days ago that starting in mid-February, Journey will be performing 80 shows in 2022. That's crazy. I can do 80 shows. Hold on now. So what I did was... Oh my God. I know, and I suck at math, but... I calculated. Now, I don't know when their start date is because it's not out yet, but I just said, okay. He said the middle of February, so let's say February 15th of 2022 Mm -hmm. until December 31st of 2022. Mm -hmm. That equals 319 days. So 319 minus 80 is 239. So as as of right now, not including... Any private shows, and by the way, my yard is wide open. If Journey wants to, you know, practice or maybe have a little, you know, show here, they could do that because there's plenty of room. And we'll just invite friends and family. Not that we have many of either, but we'll do that. But then can I just say, like, you can't say, oh, I want to be your friend. And then like two minutes later say, well, I want to come to the private journey show in your backyard. Because that's just not right. And I couldn't do it. I quit because I don't know you. If I've known you for two minutes, I can't have you come to my yard to see Journey play. Do they have you know what I mean? Shows? How many different lineups are they going to have Journey that? We don't, don't know. A different lineup like every few weeks. I mean, who, what other people are going to be in the group? And you know what I'm curious about? I'm and I didn't even, I even, yeah. So Randy Jackson, is he going to be in Vegas? I don't know. Is he going to be in the shows in 2022? I Christmas. guess he had back things. surgery again, so... We'll we'll see what's going on with Randy, but so with 239 free days, they could realistically add a ton more shows. And another thing we have to keep in the back of our pretty little minds, because they're pretty. We have pretty minds. All of everybody has a pretty mind. We have to remember that Journey is going to be celebrating their 50th anniversary this coming year. 50 years on the stage. It's a long time. So I would think that since they amicably settled their lawsuit with Ross Valerie and Steve Smith, do you think that they will include them randomly, just like a drawing? Do you think they'll include them randomly in any of their shows? Now, I would hope really that if this is touted as a 50th anniversary tour in 2022, you know, we're going to have one or two shows with Mr. Perry. Is it going to happen like an East and a West? Steve Harry will have one show that he performs at on the East Coast and one show that he performs at on the West Coast. And let's talk about, hold on, Steve O'Jerry, Robert Fleischman, Jeff Scott Soto, Greg Raleigh, whoever else they can get to, you know, perhaps perform with them, original members. Like, that would just be... Like the super coolest thing on the planet. I think that they should take all these great lead singers from all these groups and have them do a concert. I think that'd be awesome. Steve Tyler, uh, what's his name? Mick Jagger, uh, mm. Lou Graham. Yeah, it'd be fun. It, all these people. Th- that would be a friggin' awesome concert. You- but we're talking about Journey oh right now. So you're Journey going off on a chicken a pot pie tangent what? But you, with other lead singers thrown in the mix. We're not talking great. about them right That's now. people want to hear. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow. No, 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 no. It's fine. So all of these shows for 2022, it could be like a mystery box. You, you know, you go to Michael's. Mix too. That'd be great. Britney you know, when you go to Michael's and you could buy a mystery box for $5, yeah. you don't know what's inside. That's right. You could go to any Journey show in 2022 and never know who's going to be there. However, I would think if Steve Perry were to be part of any of these shows, even just one, you got to tell the fans that he's going to be at that one particular show because people are loving chicken pot pie this one. That 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 as a I mean the lunch line the the. the you're showing up at work and you talk to people and you remember me from seventh grade and and you you know like when you were saying that. You know, you remember me from seventh grade, and I—I I don't know who you are. I think that's very rude, don't you think? I—I—I I, I love these comments. So, Fallion, good morning. What? 
and Kelly loves chicken pot pie. Yeah, does. Mark, somebody get this man a chicken pot yeah, pie. Yeah, Kelly's going to Fally on pot chicken pot pie, pie tangent. Going to give me a lighter in a Jeep afterwards, and we're going to ride around and listen to Aerosmith. You That's know, I, I want to get a Jeep. Like I'm totally into the whole Jeep thing right now. And you know I was what? like, I don't know. I don't think you. So Al tells me what I don't think you can drive a Jeep. And I'm like, really? No, I, you, really? You've been driving I, by these Jeeps. I clean up after him every day. How could I not drive a Jeep? No, like that's I, easy. That's easy. Can't no, drive it. Can't I mean, drive a Jeep. Jeep. Get out of here. Well, it's not like I'm getting a stick shift. I can't do that. I cannot drive a oh, stick shift. Stick shifts are fun, though. Five so four. I think the whole journey thing, 50th anniversary, including mm -hmm. past singers, would be a great idea. I've talked about mm -hmm. this five gazillion times. So yeah. So. A lot of bands have done a 50th anniversary tour. However, I do think that Journey could make this super special. And I really think that this could be a huge, huge year for them in 2022. And I love the year of 2022 because it has three twos. It's all even numbers. I love even numbers.